What is up guys, I am Jake Does Hurdles and this is my first Pokemon Go YouTube video. So what I'm doing is showing you my Nightmare Cup team because the first video will be my Nightmare Cup tournament in Butler, Pennsylvania. So first up we've got Hypno with Confusion, Psy Shock, and Focus Blast. He was pretty decent in the cup, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Next up we've got Spiritomb with Sucker Punch and only Ominous Wind because Spiritomb is expensive and I kinda used him as a bluff. I only used him in my Mirror Team match with another player and he was okay in that match. Next up is Zatu with Air Slash, Ominous Wind, and Aerial Ace, the standard. Skun Tank with Poison Jab, Crunch, and Flamethrower, the goat of the cup. Obviously, we've got Toxie with Counter, Mud Bomb, and Sludge Bomb. And then we've got Raichu with Spark, Wild Charge, and Thunder Punch. And this baby helped me a lot in, later in the cup. So, I just wanted to show you guys my team before uh, we get into the Nightmare Cup. And without further ado, let's get it going. So in round one, battle number one, we have Yu Yu. Yes, very good player. He ended up winning the Pittsburgh North Cup later in the day, and this is my first match in the Nightmare Cup. So I'm going to be leading with Toxicroak, and he has Zatu. So obviously it's a bad situation. I have got to go and go quickly. But I sneak a couple counters in there before I leave, and I get Skuntag in there to do some damage to Zatu. And what I think he did here was let me charge a little bit too much while he charged up, and I had a, a Flamethrower ready for his Toxic Rogue. So I used Flamethrower, and obviously he's a really good player, so he's going to block it. Um, and then Toxie's basically going to beat the crap out of me. So Toxie's going to get a Mud Bomb off, which I think was also ill-advised. I think he um, maybe should have charged up a little bit more energy. And uh, he kills Skuntank, I let it go. So I bring in the big boy, Hypno. He's probably a little bit terrified at this point. And uh, Hypno demolishes Toxie without uh, landing a sludge bomb. Toxie landing a sludge bomb, that is. So he's obviously going to bring out his dark type. And that dark type is going to be Skuntank. So Skuntank is a really good pick for this cup, guys. If you still have your cup, I guarantee Skuntank is the best dark type, for me at least. Um, so he's going to use his crunch on me. And I'm going to block it because I have some shields. So now we're 1-1 one, one on shields. And I'm going to use this Focus Blast to burn his last shield. So we're going to just basically spam these uh, confusions until right about when he's about to get his crunch. I'm like, okay, you know what? Switch in. He switches. Very good switch by him. But here's the problem. I had a bunch of energy saved up from earlier with those two counters. So I'm going to use my last shield here to block this ominous wind. And I'm going to get off his sludge bomb, which should kill the Zatu. And once I did this, he was kind of like, oh, crap. And he looked down at his phone, and he was like, darn. Because he knew I had Toxie. And even if his Skun Tank has a little bit, Crunch probably won't kill me here. So it doesn't. I have, like, nothing left. But, you know, I get off a counter, and that does significant damage. So basically, we're just going to use the uh, Psy Shock when it lets me. And we are going to take a GG in the round one. And he said, GG, man, you got it. Right after I uh, I started doing the charge move. So it was a very good round one for sure. Let's pick it up with match two in round number one against Yu Yu Yes. So what I'm going to do is use the same exact team because he used Zatu as a lead for the first game. And I don't think that he's going to use Zatu again. So he's going to have to switch up his lead. And I think he's going to go dark. But... Of course, he leads Toxic Rogue. So now we've got a Toxic Rogue mirror match, and what I'm going to do is play chicken with him. We're going to see who uses the charge move first, and it's going to be him. So he's going to use it because I think I don't, I didn't have charge move priority. And what I'm going to do is use mine, obviously, so he can draw a shield out because Mud Bomb hurts Toxie. And I'm going to switch out right when he's about to get his Mud Bomb and my Mud Bomb because I do not want to waste another shield on Toxic Rogue. So, we're going to bring in Hypno to do a little bit of melting, and he brings in a Lolan Raichu. And the funny thing about his Lolan Raichu is that he has Volt Switch as a fast move instead of Spark. So Volt Switch is going to do significantly more damage, but it's going to charge up the moves a little bit slower. And I don't know why he had Volt Switch. I meant to ask him after. I think I'm going to ask him in the Discord later today. But I was able to get a Focus Blast off against his uh, Lolan Raichu so I can burn a shield. So he's down to no shields, and I have two Pokemon, one shield. And we bring in Skunk Tank. So I get a little bit energy hunger here, and um, I farm a little bit more than I should be doing. So I have to block this because I think that it might hurt me a little bit. So he's going to bring in Toxic Rope, but I'm going to use this Flamethrower that's already ready to go. And this is basically going to melt his Toxic Rope. So it comes down to one-on-one -on -one with a Dark-type 
and my fighting type Toxicroak is ready to go with the Mud Bomb from earlier. And basically, I'm just going to counter him, and I'm going to go for the Mud Bomb just to be safe here. And uh, I'm going to get the Mud Bomb off, and he said, GG, man, he killed it. And I was like, wow, yes, thanks, man. It was a really good fight. That He's a really good player. And um, he ended up actually being the person that I will eventually lose to and tying for first in the tournament with me and him, him and I. So we're going to pick up with match number one in round two against Arcanix. So Arcanix's team was very hard to plan for. He had a clay doll, so I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I hope he leads clay doll. <laughs> and I picked Skun Tank to uh, lead with Toxicroak and Hypno. So Arcanix was a very good player. He uh, ended up getting, I think, third in the Pittsburgh North Cup uh, later in the day. And he was ranked around 2,400 in the world. So I was definitely preparing for him very heavily, and I scouted him out. I was like, okay, I know he's going to be good. I know he's going to have good switches, and his win percentage is 75, so I was like, okay, he probably can get a lot of wins even if he has a bad lead. So I'm hoping that he gets a bad lead, but I take, take the cake. But eventually you'll find out that that will not be the case because round two, match one, is going to be Skun Tank as a lead versus Raticate. So neutral, neutral. Um, my rule number one for neutral, neutral matchups is definitely block the first one if you're not going to get it out of there. So for some reason, I disobeyed this rule and I did not block Hyper Fang and I basically let my Skun Tank die because, well, rookie plays. So I'm bringing Toxicroak to farm up some energy against uh, Raticate. I know he's going to get Raticate out there so he can save it for my Psychic in the back. And I use a Sludge Bomb on um, Claydol, and surprisingly, Sludge Bomb does not hurt that much against Claydol, but he thought it was going to, and he blocked it. So I use Skun Tank against Claydol. What Skun Tank I have left? I can get two crunches off to hopefully burn the last shield, but he does not use his last shield, and he sacrifices Claydol. And at this point, I'm like, okay, we're good. Um, and then Raticate comes back out, kills Skun Tank. And then it's Raticate versus um, Hypno. And I, th I think if he doesn't have that Hyper Fang, I might be able to win this if I don't burn that last shield. But I do burn the last shield. And, um, yep, it's Raichu. He used a double Psychic lineup against me, and it was very, very effective. Um, I didn't block the first one because I knew there were going to be more, and I blocked this one. But um, it's a little bit all for naught because he has that one, uh, one shield in the back. And I went for a Focus Blast just to... See if I can burn off some energy, but I basically knew it was GG because his health was too much, and I couldn't get to a Psy Shock in time anyway. So it was, a, it was definitely a good game. Uh, Arcanix is a very good player, and he's going to take match number one of round two. So we've got round two, match two versus Arcanix right here, and I'm going to be leading with Raichu against his Raticate, which is a horrible, horrible matchup for me. But I'm going to do some farming. Um, and I'm going to get Toxie in there as fast as possible, but he obviously has a Hyper Fang ready for later, so i got to be be mindful of that. And um, I'm going to use a Sludge Bomb against his Clay Doll. And uh, as you can see, it does not do that much damage, so don't block with your Clay Doll against Sludge Bomb, people. Don't do it. You can save a shield that way. Save it for the Crunch users. And um, comes in, and I think he's going to use Earth Power, because I haven't seen it yet, and he uses Earthquake. Earthquake against me. So it's like, okay, definitely block that. Um, and then I farm a little bit. Farm real heavy. And... I get my crunch, so he doesn't block, and I'm like, okay. That should have been my signal to block the next attack, because I knew Hyper Fang was coming in. But I didn't block it. I don't know why I didn't block it. Um, hindsight, definitely should have blocked it, so I use what the flamethrower I have to hopefully do some damage. He blocks it, so he obviously is basically an advantage right here. Two Pokemon with one shield, and then I have one Pokemon with one shield. But definitely going to burn his last shield here, because he wants to keep Raticate alive, because it's Psychic versus Dark. And uh, he's going to get a crunch here. Um, and I have to block it because if not, I'm going to get melted. And basically, I get a little bit aggressive here because I needed to get a lot of energy stored up for what he had left. Um, and I didn't use my Thunder Punch uh, because I wanted to save it. And he told me later that he had a little right through the back, so it would not have mattered. Two Gs. So we're going to hop in at round number three, match one. So obviously I'm one and one going into this match, and I'm going to use an old reliable, you know, the Hypno Bait team, which is Toxicroak, um, Skun Tank, and Hypno. And what that means is I'm going to put Toxie out there because obviously Toxie is very valuable. And I'm basically going to bait 
the other team's Hypno so I can kill that beast um, before he kills my Toxicroak. So I didn't know much about this trainer, but she's got the double Gengar look going on. So I was very eager for this matchup, and obviously I obviously want to win. So I'm going to go into this with uh, the goal of basically demolishing her. So <laughs> comes out, and I have Toxicroak versus her Skunk Tank. So what she's going to do here is she's going to do a very, very intricate play. I'm going to basically charge up and farm a little bit because I know I'm going to kill her in this matchup, but she switches out. So she switches in uh, Claydol and blocks my move. So I was like, okay, I'm already at advantage here. She's got one shield down, and I've got the farmer here. So I bring out Skuntank, a.k.a. Claydol farmer. I'm going to farm a bunch of crunches up. So I'm going to wait for her to use her charge move, and obviously I'm going to block her because I have the shield advantage. And we're going to use that shield. It's Earthquake. So I say, okay, she has Earthquake. She might not have Earth Power on it yet. So I'm going to use my crunch here. And it's going to wax her, and she does not shield. So she sacrifices her clay doll. So I was like, okay, maybe she has another psychic in the back. And what she does is she brings out a scun tank. So we had a neutral matchup, but I have advantage, obviously, because I have health, more health on her. And she's not going to block the flamethrower, which was probably a little bit ill-advised, and she's kicking herself after that. I think she, she was kind of mad about that one. But... Then she brings out Drapion. She's got a double dark lineup. So I was like, okay, I'm good. Toxicroak's still alive. But I'm going to do as much damage as I can. She is going to shield, which obviously was a very good idea. Um, shield the flamethrower because if not, it's probably going to melt like half of her health. And I'm like, okay, Skun Tank, you did your job. You farmed up all crazy. You were a Farmville veteran. So Skun Tank is still alive, though. <laughs> Skun Tank survives the Aqua Tail, and I'm able to get a crunch off. So. Scum tank dies peacefully, and I bring in Toxicroak to clean up the mess. But luckily, she has a little bit of energy stored up. I'm like, okay, it's got to be Crunch, right? No, it's Aqua Tail because rookie mistakes. Um, but it doesn't end up mattering because I'm going to get this Mud Bomb, and I'm going to get it off and uh, make it a very good, clean, um, pretty uh, round three, match one victory. GG's. We're going to hop in at round three, match number two against Steppen Razor. So at this point, I am one and one at the tournament. I beat UUS in round one, and I lost to Arcanix in round two. So I beat Steppen Razor in the first match, and she had a dark lead. So I assumed that she would not use another dark lead, and I felt that the best way to counter that was to throw Zatu out there and hope for a Toxic Crow. And... I know that at this point in the tournament also, Arcanix is definitely 2-0, and there are other people that are 2-0. So I have to basically win out and hope for someone to help me down the backstretch by beating um, one of these undefeated so I can possibly share with the first place trophy. So getting into it, we've got Zatu, and of course, Drapion comes out. So Drapion is going to use Infestation, which isn't going to hurt that bad, but I'm going to charge up a little bit of energy and then switch out to Toxicroak, but wait, misclick. I misclick and switch out Skuntank, which isn't a horrible idea because it's a neutral matchup. Um, and I'm going to let this come in because I figured it'd be Aqua Tail for a shield bait, but it's Sludge Bomb. So I can basically cross off Crunch as her other move because she has Sludge Bomb and Aqua Tail. And so she's going to use Aqua Tail and it's not gonna hurt that bad so I don't shield, but I have a flamethrower ready, so I'm hoping that I can bait her shield because she wants to keep that dark type alive to kill my psychic type, Zatu, obviously. But she does not shield. So I was like, okay, that means she must have another dark type in the back. And obviously I experienced some lag there, and I told her, I was like, oh, you know, it should be okay. It wasn't that much. It was only two moves, and I was basically sacrificing Skuntank anyway because I knew I had Toxicroak. So I bring in Toxicroak, and I'm getting ready to switch, but it would not let me. So I was basically just... You know, switch glitched using Toxicroak, countering, and I get some Mud Bomb off here. So Mud Bomb is going to do pretty decent damage against Spiritomb, so she's going to block. And I'm basically going to keep farming. Attempt to, but Ominous Wind really tends to ruin one's day because as I have two shields, I have to use them. And um, Ominous Wind is actually very, very decent against Toxicroak. So if you have a Spiritomb, it isn't that bad against Toxicroak. It's a pretty decent matchup. It's close. Um, but she blocks both of my uh, Mud Bombs because she has to because she's going to die. And then, obviously, I'm going to... 
I'm going to keep Toxie alive because I'm thinking she, you know, I can get to a, a sludge bomb for the next uh, Pokemon. So basically I'm going to aggro farm here and I'm going to get off a mud bomb, hoping that I have enough energy saved up for whatever she has in the back. And it's clay doll. And I probably could have gotten to a sludge bomb, but I went with the mud bomb just just for safety. And mud bomb actually does basically as much damage as sludge bomb did to the clay doll in the match before with Arcanix. So we've got psychic versus psychic, but I have ghost moves, so I'm definitely gonna have the advantage here. And I know that she has earthquake, but I did not know what was coming next. And I don't know when she got it, but she had Earth Power the whole time. And um, she used an Earth Power against me. It hurt a little bit. And I think she had some lag there, too, so it might have equaled out. So GG's. So moving into round number four, I am 2-1, and one, and I am facing Shady Brady. And he has a mirror team to me. So he's got a Raichu. He's got a Zatu. He's got a Hypno. He's got a Toxic Curl. And he has a Skuntank and a Spiritomb. So I'm going to put Spiritomb in the back of my team with a neutral lead of Raichu because I want to get some um, farming done with Raichu. Hopefully he leads something like Toxicroak, or Hypno for that matter, um, and I can do some farming and hope that Spiritomb can kill Hypno in the back. But here we go. Hypno is laying some confusions into me, and I know that I can farm a little bit here because Shadow Ball takes a little bit of time if he has Shadow Ball, and obviously that's why he's keeping him in there. He's got Shadow Ball. So I have to block because Shadow Ball is going to demolish Raichu. And as soon as I see Shadow Ball, I'm like, okay, gotta go. It's time. Time for Spiritomb to do its job. And remarkably, he does not switch here. And I was very confused at that, but you'll see why um, he doesn't switch here in a second. And obviously, I have Ominous Wind and no Shadow Ball, so I can bait a little bit of shields um, later on. And so I'm like, okay, what does he have? What was he charging up for? It's Focus Blast. So I'm like, okay, Focus Blast does not do that much damage. So guys, don't block a... Don't block a focus pass with your spear tomb. So he's got spear tomb. So we got a mirror match. And I'm like, okay, I can think I can might be able to bait another shield here because he might block if it's shadow ball. But he doesn't know that I don't have shadow ball. So he's ominous wind, and obviously I've got enough for another one. So I'm like, okay, what do I do here? What do I do here? I need this last shield. So I sacrifice spear tomb because I'm like, okay, Toxro can beat this guy. We'll be fine. So bring out Toxie. And he's got no shields. I have one shield, so I have advantage here. And I'm like, okay, what do I do here? We'll be good, right? Nope, gotta block it, because Hominous Wind is um, going to hurt a frail Toxic Curve. I'm like, okay, I can farm a little bit here, because he has no Pokemon, um, no shields left, and basically two Pokemon left, but it's going to end up being one Pokemon, really, because Hypno is already weak, and he's going to bring in probably Hypno here, but... Who knows? He's taking his time, waiting out the switch clock, so I get Raichu ready. I'm like, okay, brought in Hypno. So, okay, Raichu's got the Wild Charge ready for Hypno. Bang, down goes Hypno. So I'm like, okay, that takes care of my problem. And I have another Wild Charge ready because farming is a great thing to do. And he has Talk Stroke, and he's like, dang, man. I was like, yep, I'm an aggro farmer. What can I say? So, basically, we're going to get the GG in that match because of uh, two Wild Charges that I saved up from earlier in the round. So, GG, Shady Brady. So, before we move into the official match number two of round number four against Shady Brady and the Mirror Team, um, we actually did a match number two, but he said he had a lag issue, so we just rematched it again with the same lineups. So, what I was planning for his lineup was my Hypno Bait team. I wanted to bait Hypno out with Toxicroak because I knew he used Hypno in the first match, and I knew we'd probably use it again because it has Shadow Ball, and it basically demolishes half my team because I have three Psychics. So, I was very scared, but I wanted to get Hypno out of the way by using Toxie's elite, and of course, I got Hypno in the worst way. He was leading with it, you know. So I knew that going into this match, because obviously, when you rematch, you use the same team. So I was like, okay, ready to switch. You know, got Skun Tank, and so Skun Tank one, once again he lets me charge a little bit too much, and I am ready for a flamethrower. And he is expecting Crunch, but like I said, he let me charge a little bit too much, and he does not shield with his Toxic Crow. So at this point, I'm like, okay. Toxicroak's dead. This is a good feeling. My dark type is still alive, and for some reason I don't shield this, but I'm like, okay, I think Hypno can take Hypno on one-on-one. -on -one. So we're at two Pokemon to two Pokemon, and both of us have two shields. So I'm expecting Skuntank here, and of course, out comes Skuntank after a long switch clock, which actually helps me later in the match. So 
we've got Skuntank versus Hypno, and I'm trying to charge up this Focus Blast so I can burn his shield, and he is going to use Crunch, because Crunch melts Hypno, obviously, due to Dark-type effectiveness, and I'm going to block and hopefully get off this Focus Blast, even though it takes forever. And I use a Focus Blast, and of course he's got a shield here, or he's going to die. And I'm getting ready to switch out because he waited out that switch clock very long. And I bring in Toxcrook, and I'm like, okay, I have one shield, I think i got to save this for Hypno in the back. So I don't shield, and he uses a crunch, and it doesn't hurt me that bad. So I just kind of go, 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 and he's got one shield. And he let me charge up a little bit too much energy once again before he switched, and he bring in Hypno. And he has one shield, so he's going to have to use that shield on Hypno. But he doesn't. He doesn't think that I have Sludge Bomb. So Toxicroak dies, and he does an amazing job. So we've got one shield versus one shield, and it's Hypno versus Hypno with a little bit of health left on Skuntank. And I'm like, okay, this isn't very good. i got to block this Shadow Ball, or I'm going to die. So, okay, come on. Come on, Confusion. Do, do what you do. Do what you do best. Do the, do the thing. I'm like, okay. Oh, I did it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And he has one shield up with Skun Tanks. I'm like, okay, Focus Blast. Focus Blast, do your thing. I don't think he has any energy left, though, with Skun Tanks. So he uses the shield. I'm like, okay, it's going to be a race to the charge move. Come on, get that Psy Shock. Get it. You can do it. You can do it. And finally, really quick tap on that Psy Shock. And I get it um, with the unfair advantage, basically, Hypno. Hypno is a beast in this cup, and you guys should definitely run it. GG's. So we're going to move into round number five, and I knew I had to face one of my sparring partners that was at the tournament that day, and it's going to be easily done. So I have never led Hypno against Tanner, and I knew Tanner was not ready for it, so I brought Hypno out. And he's like, no, you've never done this. And uh, he played for me, and he knew that I led Dark all the time, and um, he brought out Toxie. So I was like, oh, jeez, and then he had to switch and eradicate, and I had the automatic advantage. So, okay, we got to keep Toxie alive. Toxie can do a lot of things. I was like, boom, I'm going to kill Raticate here before he can get another charge move off. And I've got a Sludge Bomb ready for whatever he brings in there. And he brings in Zatu. So I was like, okay, you know, Sludge Bomb's going to burn a shield. Toxie, you did an amazing job. You did what you had to do. And I got a Mud Bomb, but I couldn't get it off, which was okay. Um, so I bring in Spear Tomb because he didn't think I was probably going to run it. So I run Spear Tomb in the back. And I'm like, okay, how much is Air Race going to hurt? It hurts a little bit for neutral. So, okay, got Ominous Wind. I'm going to charge a little bit up here. I'm going to charge a little bit farmed here so I can use maybe another Ominous Wind. And I'm going to kill his Zatu. He's going to give it up so he can use the one shield for the back. So he's got Toxicroak. I'm like, okay, Toxicroak with one shield. You know, he knows I have Ominous Wind. It's going to hurt him a lot. But he also knows that he has Big Boy in the back. And he assumes that Big Boy has Psy Shock. And I was like, okay, how much does Toxicroak have? Does he have enough to get another Sludge Bomb? But obviously it doesn't matter because Hypno is going to stomp him. So GG Tanner in round or match one of round five. So we're going to move into my final match of round five. And as you can see, easily done. And I got our friendship level up. We're going to be best friends here soon. And I was like, okay, he's going to be expecting something weird for this last battle. Not Hypno. So I'm going to lead another Psychic. I'm going to go crazy and expect that he's probably going to lead a Dark, but... I think I can farm a little bit. I'm like, okay, we'll be good. And Tanner takes a decent amount of time choosing his team because he knows that he's back against the wall right now. He's also 3-1 and one like me, and he knows that he could probably get a piece of the pie if someone loses in the final round. So our teams are set. I've got Raichu, I've got Skuntank, and I've got Toxie. So we've got a Raichu lead, and he leads Claydol. So this is an automatic farming situation, guys. you got to always farm against Claydol with your Raichu. Unless that Claydol has Earth Power, but as you will see, it's still a fine farming opportunity because Earth Power hurts, but it does not, you know, do anything when you got that shield. So basically, when you have two things that you can basically hardcore farm against Claydol, you are in decent shape. So I'm like, okay, I got to block this Earth Power, but I have a Crunch ready. And I know the Crunch is going to destroy Claydol. So he's got to block it. And I'm like, okay, race the charge move. Here we go. Let's do it. And I got the charge move again. So I was like, okay, you got a block. You're going to die. What's going to happen? You know? And he uses a block. So I'm like, okay, it's going to take you killed it, man. You did everything you could and you, you did it. You know? So I'm like, okay, we got to bring out Tox Croak to get some neutral damage here. And um, basically, I'm going to go for this Sludge Bomb just to kill um, Claydol. And I'm like, okay, he's got to have a Dark type and he's got to have a Toxie. 
So he brings out Toxie with no shields. And I'm like, okay, bang, good switch. Get the wild charge off. And he's like, darn, that was good. And I'm like, okay, what's he got in the back? It doesn't matter what he has in the back because wild charge is ready to go. And Raticate, no matter how tanky it is, wild charge is going to take off half its health. And I'm like, okay, get as much as we can. See if we can get off another thing. Bang, get another Thunder Punch off. And I was like, okay, I have Toxie in the back. Counter's good. But um, it didn't really matter because uh, GG's, man. That was a great match and a great overall tournament. I'm glad that I went. I'm glad. So after the win with Tanner, I am 4-1. and one, And I would like to show you guys the bracket because obviously I needed to have someone beat and undefeated in the championship or have someone basically lose um, earlier for me to get a tie for first place. And obviously I'm showing you basically the whole thing, but Arcanix goes undefeated until the final round where he faces up against you you yes the first person that i battled in this tournament and i beat him and ends up the you you yes is the person that beats arcanix to force a three-way tie in this tournament so ggs to those guys i say ggs to those guys because they're two very good players and obviously you can see the three-way tie for first place up here i scroll down so you can see that there's also another person with four total points but the buckholds tiebreaker made it so there were only three of us so there's us three you got you yes on the left arcanix in the middle and me on the right and I just want to say thank you guys for watching this. I had a lot of fun making it, a lot of fun with the tournament. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, and watch more of our videos. Thank you.